Hey guys, this is Rod and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to sit literally anywhere in Minecraft. And when I say literally, I just mean it. Like, look at that. I'm sitting on top of a stone cutter. Maybe let's do it on a more comfortable place. For example, you can sit on the ground or on top of a crate or even on a very nice chair that you've built. Or why not even on top of this door? Now you can do it, guys. Let's not forget about the throne that I used in a tutorial a long time ago. Or maybe you want to sit on a very long fence, just like this. And what's new in this tutorial, guys, is that now we are able to sit even on top of any kind of Minecraft mob. How cool is this? I am riding a goat in Minecraft. In this tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you how to sit on any kind of mob and surface in Minecraft. Alright, there are two methods to do this. The first one is by using the interaction entities. You can see that they are in the places that I just shown in the intro of the video. And the second method is by using invisible horses. There are pros and cons for both of them and uh, I'm going to get through all of the info. Let's start with the interaction entities. This is the command, it's a simple summon interaction command. In this case, I summon it 0.73 blocks beneath the command block. So basically they are at ground level. I give them a seat tag, I give them no gravity. And then the cool thing about these entities here is that they are customizable. So you can customize the width and the height of these entities. In this case, I gave it a width of one block. So basically it uh, covers the entire area of the block. Okay, now I'll show you guys how to do this in your world. Choose the place where you want to sit. For example, I chose this glass block here. Then type in chat give at p command underscore block and hit enter you'll get a command block place it on top of the block where you want to sit in this case on top of the glass block and paste the command that you'll find on my webpage which is linked in the description of this video okay and if we are happy with, with the command let's press on this button then on this button and you, you can see that we summoned the interaction entity on top of this glass block now i am able to see it because i pressed f3 plus b if i press it again i'll remove the hitboxes i want to have them shown in order to see if everything was correct and as you can see everything is correct because the entity is exactly on top of the block and it covers the entirety of this glass block so if i click in any place of this block i'll be able to sit on it just like this as i showed you guys before you can change the width and the height of these entities so let's make them for example 0.2 blocks wide let's activate it you can see that in this case if i right click on this block here nothing happens until i right click exactly on the center of the block and in this case i am sitting on it now in order to sit on uh, any kind of mob we have to summon one of these interaction entities in this case i copy the one that is one block wide place ah oh, come on place the command block near the entity that you want to write and then activate it you can see that we summoned the interaction entity but of course this is the wrong position because it's still standing on the ground now we want this entity to write the villager and we do it by using a simple slash write command again you'll find it on the web page so if we paste this command in a command block and then we activate it look at what happens the interaction entity is now writing the villager so if we right click on that entity we are actually writing the villager how cool is this you can do this the same exact thing with all of the mobs that uh, you, we have in minecraft but for the frog i'll use uh, one of these interaction entities with a smaller hitbox let me place a command block near the frog and maybe let's change the width the height as well let's make it bigger let's make it 0 0.5 okay i summoned the entities down here is under the ground now in order to make it right the frog we will have to change this part here instead of making it right the villager we have to change it to frog if you typed everything correctly this part of the command will uh, be yellow in this case if i right click look at this the interaction entity that we previously summoned is now riding the frog so when i right click on the frog i am actually able to ride the frog how cool is this guys and of course you can do it with any kind of mob that you have in minecraft i'm doing it with the cow with the chicken that's very cute and uh, also with the iron golem now for the iron golem i had to spawn an interaction entity that has a very big hitbox look at this i'm even able to ride in an armor stand if you guys did a mistake and want to remove these uh, interaction entities here go near them and type in chat this command you'll find it on my website and press enter 
I actually destroyed my enter button, okay. <laughs> and the entity was removed. Okay guys, in order to make the players able to sit on these entities here, you will have to set up these two command blocks which will have to be always active in your world. First of all, place two command blocks one on top of the other, they have to be facing like this, and then the bottom one set it on repeat unconditional always active, and the upper one on chain unconditional and always active. Then paste the commands in order as shown on my website. That's pretty much it. Make sure that these commands are always active in your world or in a uh, data pack. If you do it in your world, you might notice that if you go very far from these chunks here, you'll not be able to sit on these entities anymore because the commands are not loaded. In order to make them always loaded, go near the command blocks and type in chat slash set world spawn. In this case, these commands here are gonna be always loaded. Okay, so that was the first method, using the interaction entities. The pros is that they are customizable, the cons is that you'll need these two command blocks here to be always run. It is not a big deal, but it's something that you have to keep in mind. The second method is by using invisible horses, in this case you'll not need any running command blocks. First of all, before doing anything, Type in chat these two commands, the first one has to be slash team add no collision, just like this, you can copy them from my website and hit enter. And the second command, again, you type it in the chat and hit enter, you will have to do that only once. In this case we created a team that removes the collision of these horses, so when a player bumps into the horses, they will not get pushed away. Then you can use the command, which is a simple summon command, which summons an invisible horse that is riding a block display. You can take a command block, place it on top of the surface where you want to sit, paste the command using Ctrl plus V, it has to be the summon block display command this time, then hit uh, this button and hit this button here, and in this case you can see that the horse was summoned. Now you can see that the horse is facing that direction here, it's not a big deal, when I ride it you can see that it looks like I'm sitting on this block, but if I look on the opposite direction you, you will see that my body is uh, well it's not correct placed correctly right in order to fix this issue you can use a simple data command and change the rotation of the horse this is the command that you have to paste from a website if i hit enter you can see that i changed the rotation of the horse so now it's facing the this direction here now the cons of using the horse method is that of course we are riding an invisible horse so if a player opens their interface they will see the ui of a horse and also they will see the hard particles if you don't mind about this thing here you can use the horse method otherwise use the interaction entity method when summoning these entities even the interaction ones if you want to make them leveled to a half slab you will have to change uh, one thing in the command so let me copy it and let me paste it right in this case it will summon the horse two blocks beneath the command block since we want it to be leveled with the half slab, the half slab is half a block lower than a normal block, we will need to fix this accordingly, so we will need to summon the horse half a block lower than normal, right? So in this case it's minus 2.55, so if I summon it, you can see that it is leveled to the, uh, to the half slab, and voila, you can see that we are perfectly leveled. One last little issue that you'll have with the horse method is that when you dismount it, you can see that Minecraft places you in very weird places. In this case, when I dismount this couch here, I get placed on top of it. If you guys want to fix this simple issue, I made a separate video where I explain how to do it. I will link that video in the description of this one. Alright guys, that was everything. Now you know how to sit anywhere in Minecraft. If this tutorial was useful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, watch this video where I created the world record smallest Minecraft houses ever.